Greetings brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. It is always good to be here with you. It is always good to have you here with me. Now as the Tom Neal have said, CC Winers expose Whitney Houston and many of you, if not all, may know by now that Whitney Houston um, died a couple of years ago. Now she talk about the type of song that Whitney Houston sing and uh, that they were just not pleasing unto God and we know that um CC Winers is a gospel artist she sing um gospel songs some lovely songs at that you know when you really listen to the words of some of her songs they are really um they're really good words you know in terms of what um it is saying you know so she I, I definitely do enjoy some of the songs that she sing I really um, take them myself and sing them um, to glorify God. Now, let's listen to what she had to say about Whitney Houston. And then we'll see what the apostle have to say about the type of song she, she sing. If they are pleasing, coming from her unto God. Let's jump into the video. We, we have to understand what true worship is. Worship is not about the song you sing, but it's your relationship with Jesus and your heart for God. But your lifestyle was more important than whatever you did on your, your life off stage was more important than what you did on stage. There's so many doors that he opened up for me that I walked in, but he made it very clear that that platform was not about me. Okay. And then you know, I want you to know that God opened doors, but the enemy opens doors too. Oh, I just believe God is opening this door. God doesn't open doors that's not going to honor him. You don't have to be confused. You don't have to want it. Was that God? No, that ain't God. If that door is not all about honoring him, then it's not him. You don't have to fast. You don't even got to pray about that one. Right? We try to act confused. Oh, I want to be an actress. Well, is that going to glorify him? So don't get tricked by fame and all of that. God did not open that door. Because it's not honoring him. So when you aim to please God, then a lot of offers that come my way, I don't even, I don't even have to think about. You know, one of my, one of my dear friends who have gone on to gone on to be with the Lord praise God um one of my one of my dear friends who have gone on to gone on to be with the Lord praise God um no I had to play that twice and this is what the apostle talks about all the time that when people die when these people have their loved one die that have nothing to do with God while they were living, didn't live to please him, didn't do anything um, to do with God. Everything that they did while they were living was contrary to God, where they always put these people in heaven. She said, um, when she said her dear friend, she's talking about Whitney Houston. You can know after I, I play the video. And, and she's putting her in heaven yet still she's about to say that the song that she a particular song that she wanted her to sing was definitely not pleasing unto god so she didn't do it um this is something that the apostle have preach about from t time and time again and uh, these people need to just stop stop doing this stop putting people in heaven especially people that are living the the life of a sinner you know let's continue to listen you know one of my one of my dear friends who have gone on to gone on to be with the lord praise god um uh and she was so famous she was so famous and she let me know that i really didn't want to be famous uh was whitney houston right she was my dear sister and friend and and I remember she was about to do one of her big videos, and uh, it was "I'm Every Woman." It's a great video, right? Really nice. Good, good. The song is um, when you think about how it was written. It's a great song, right? But the lyrics don't line up with the word of God. 
right? So she knew, she said, Cece, I want you to be in this video, but I know you're not going to be in it. I said, you're absolutely right. Because it started off with, I could cast a spell. I'm not singing that. <laughs> but, but notice how that message was all wrapped up in the beat, right? Y'all get so hooked onto these beats, and it's like demonic. You're listening to demonic stuff, and you wonder why you don't know what's going on. Right? <laughs> you can't listen and look at everything. God say you're either for me or you're against me. You're either with me or you're not. The biggest deception is the, the devil make you think it's an in-between. Show me a scripture that says there's an in-between. There is no in-between, guys. And this, what she's saying here, is so true. There is no in-between. you either for God all the way or or none at all this is so through what she's saying but um many people talk about god and say the, th the truth many of the times but if they're not talking the truth living the truth all the way not saying that and um people can't uh mess up or slip up or you know things can't happen things definitely can happen but when when they do we should always get back up and uh, repent and ask god for forgiveness and continue to strive to please him as i've said before what she's saying is true but is either you serve god all the way or none at all now let's continue to listen to what she had to say I'm a believer first. I'm a believer who happens to sing. You have to be a believer who happens to teach or who happens to whatever. I'm a doctor, whatever. I'm a believer first. I'm a believer who happens to be black. Right? I'm a believer first. Now we've heard what she have to say about Whitney Houston. Um, even though she's saying that she's saying... Uh, uh, she refused to sing a song with her that was really not half, um, pleasing to God. But yet still, she's putting Whitney Houston in heaven. Now let's listen to the Apostle Pastor Gina Jennings. Let's listen to what he has to say about the songs that she is singing. Yes, there are, there, there are good lyrics, good words. But uh, is she living a life that is pleasing unto God? Are these songs that she's singing acceptable to, to, to God? Is God accepting these songs? Let's listen to this. Bible says this. Take away from me. Amos chapter 5 and then verse 23. Listen. Take thou away from Take me. Take thou away from me. The noise. The noise. Of thy songs. Of thine songs. For I will not hear. I will not hear the melody of the thy vows. Melody of thine vows. I'm determined to lead you right. That's right. I don't care if something make you feel good. I don't mean nothing to God. No. This is all about preparing to meet God. That's right. That's right. My job is to lead you into the kingdom of God through yeah. preaching. That's so. right. And whenever God deal with me about anything yes, touching the church, yeah. and I'm going to deal with you. I say, God call it no. Take thou away Even from me. if sinners sang the truth about God. You can sing the truth about God, but there's a way that God said he wants to be worshipped in spirit, hold it, and truth. And to worship God in spirit, you must sing in the spirit or with the spirit, meaning your song must be according to the letter. And if the sinner is not baptized, don't have the Holy Ghost, not in the truth, not worshiping God according to what's written, God called his songs, even if the words are right, noise. Noise. So you can't have no sinners back in the church. Are you listening? Sinners cannot 
back the church thanks for watching brothers and sisters remember to like share and subscribe to the channel until next time peace be